Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Time for the fans to get settled in their seats. Warm-up's just about over. ACC action about to start. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game here we go folks excellent kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Louisville's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now. And he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinator. the 27 yard line. It's third and eight. Ball on the 27. He steps up the 34 yard line. Got ten guys up. They're coming after the kick. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Room around the corner. Gets to about the 34-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. up front and that allowed the linebacker to run free and make the tackle in the backfield. From their own 23 yard line. Third down. Ready. 
He's scrambling. He rifles it. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. Mitchell awaiting the return. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. From the 28-yard line, first down. There's a strike complete. Touchdown, Chippewas came into the game ranked third. That's not going to last. And for Bowling Green, their winning streak is at a half dozen. The Falcons walk out with a seven-point win. In other games, checking in on the SEC championship game, this one reminds me of Mike Tyson and Marvis Frazier where Tyson just ran across the ring and beat him up. That's what happened here. They ran across the field and beat him up. The Gators took pleasure in opening up the can. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Louisville lines up for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He finally goes down at the 49-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Pick your poison. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Coming and they're going to come after this one. It's away. Short punt. Balls for the fair catch. Fair 
This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense is going to be good. He's got to be in the face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about an attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 21-yard line. Louisville up seven points. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's tackled at the 21. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Third and 13. Ball on the 21. He lets it fly. They'll bring him down at the 38. He set a new team record now for single season receiving yards. When was the last time we saw somebody get downfield the way this guy does? And it isn't just a speed thing. He's simply an exceptional runner. into a hole on first and second down so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down it's fourth down so the kicker comes out he'll try to put three points on the board louisville is hoping to make this a two-score game and it's wide left no good they head to the sideline with nothing to show for that drive it doesn't matter what the distance is it's just so cold out there that it's hard to make any type of field goal and while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Now he tries to buy some time. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. from their own 31-yard line. Second down. Gets to about the 34-yard line.
He's going to try and scramble. Ball is loose. Fumble. Scooped up by the defense. And down he goes at the 36. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Louisville is up a score. He throws right. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. From the 13-yard line, first down. first quarter that we have seen in a long time but let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ball game they need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit they could easily fall out of the game he scrambled throws it into coverage and it's intercepted to the 20 there he goes He's taken down at about the five-yard line. Boy, just when it looked like they had a chance to get right back into this game, they throw the interception. Now it's still early. Let's see if their defense can bail them out. First and goal from the five, and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. They keep it on the ground with the tailback, and he's taken down at the five-yard line.
gets out to about the 15-yard line. Louisville's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I would be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Seven yards on that play. They're about four yards away here on second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they make the stop the 30 yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. Shotgun and five wide outs. He's on the run. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Three-yard line, three-yard gain by the running back. The offensive line has got to do a better job of making space because that was just a punishing hit. play of this drive. Now he tries to buy some time. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It has the distance, and it's good. Great snap, perfect hold, and he just had an awesome follow through. Everything went right there on that long field goal. 17-3, Louisville. North Carolina is ready to kick it away. Off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Louisville's offense really came to play in this one, Kirk. They're punching in for six early and off. Yeah, give them all the credit in the world. Not only are they executing well, but they're finding the mismatches and taking advantage of them. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. He gets out to about the 37-yard line.
from their own 37 yard line. First down. Now he's scrambling. Brought down right around the 46 yard line. That brings in second and nine. down 10 yards to go ball on the 50 yard line job of seeing where the quarterback wants to go with the football, getting a very good jump on it, and simply not getting it away from the receiver. Balls for the fair catch. Louisville's taking no prisoners in this game so far. Well, they've really exploited some one-on-one -on -one opportunities and came up with some big plays and eventually have led to those touchdowns. We're about set to start things up again. for a nice run. And we've reached the end of one. 17-3, Cardinals. Look out! Throws it in a hurry. He's 
pushed out of bounds at the 40. So they'll get the first down there on the five-yard completion. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. Well, if you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier, that was fantastic pursuit. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's a game of seven. Third down. his hit by the time the quarterback threw the football. As soon as the receiver touched the football, he made that big hit to be able to get the football away from the receiver. They'll bring him down to the 20-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Scramble. He's wrapped up for the sack. They'll call on the field goal unit here. the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. From their own 23-yard line, second down. to the 31. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's second and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line.
gets it to the 42-yard line. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. And he is drilled at the 45-yard line. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Easy, easy, easy. He's scrambling. Under pressure, he goes out of bounds. At about the 47 yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their scheme. From the 47 yard line, first down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Scrambling around. Aaron and out long. And it's caught. And a huge touchdown play. the PAT. Let's throw out the Reese now for a studio update. Big Ten Championship game action. The Nittany Lions rushing attack can be difficult to stop and they get into the end zone for a touchdown. Allen's strength as a runner has carried him into the end zone for a touchdown. Penn State's on top, 14-7. Late in the first quarter. And for the Tar Heels, they don't want to lose any more ground. If that score holds up, they've got to win this football game. North Carolina gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. The 33 yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down right around the 40. That's good for him, seven yards. That makes it first and ten. with a first and ten. Now he's scrambling. Dives and he's down. Cards. 
and he tacks on the extra point. So a seven-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 27-10. Louisville, the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Down the sideline. Across midfield. He finally goes down at the 29. North Carolina is down the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. And you're right. Something has got to happen with his teammates, the rest of this group. They've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. The catch is a mess. Whitaker gains about five yards on the play. From the 24-yard line, second down. is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks up, and it is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. Down at the 34. Last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground here? Gives it off. Down at the 30. Ball on the 30-yard line. Throws complete. He's hammered. down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. They'll work the right side, and he has it on the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. Someone got a head start on the line. 
It'll be third down again after that penalty. And yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. Dangerous pass here, and it falls incomplete. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. The 50. At the 30. The 10. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Louisville is up by six. Hands off left, and they got him on the line. Second and 12 coming up here. 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 41. And he's taken down at the 39 yard line. decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Louisville, up six.
and he hits the PAT. So a six-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. So the score now, 34-21. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Down the sideline. And they finally bring him down at the 50. Wow, partner, with the way these offenses are lighting things up, they're going to need some oxygen out there. As a matter of fact, the way they're playing, I might need some oxygen. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. You know, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game and help them get the score. Let's we'll see if they can do it again. Up the middle for a nice game. Picks up five with the carry. They're about four yards away here on second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. come away with a first down on the play. And that shows you why he's such a weapon as a ball carrier. Good game for the offense. some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. field goal here it's up and he just drilled it from long range and he's got to be happy about that kick oh no question this kid is just a solid kick 34 24 Louisville Burnett has his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off he kicks it off and he got all This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Louisville's put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability and just a lot of just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. Yeah, I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove it into the field and put points up on the board. It really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. the catch and look out tackle made around the 27 yard line that'll bring up third and eight first 
from their own 27 yard line third down. Heels will use their first time out of the half. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. Yellow three. North Carolina is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He's on the run. And for the corner, he's at the 40. Out of bounds, the 35 yard line. We've played a half. Louisville leads it. 34-24. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He'll take it from the two. And he's taken down at the 18-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And they get nice yardage on that run. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They come out on an empty backfield. to make a play on the ball. They're about four yards away here on third down. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Here's the eighth 
series. They'll spread the field with five wide. The ten. They'll bring him down around the eight yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Runs it left for a decent game. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Defense in their short yardage package. Outside the goal line. Second down, goal to go. About a yard to Pater. That's a great tackle at the one yard line. This is the 12th play of the drive. Touchdown, UNC. So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. When Hyatt and Bowden to try to decide who will get their support, they're going to be thinking about performances like this one he's having here today. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Louisville has a three-point lead. They go to the ground game. Nice gain as he works the right side. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. getting downfield and making the tackle by the coverage team. A long field didn't bother them the last time out, and that's how they'll set up for this drive. Let's see what they do. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. 
picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it six and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 29-yard line. He's under pressure. Throws it to the outside. Incomplete pass. Looked like both sides tried to get away with some shoving while the ball was in the air. Here's the call. It's pretty tempting to try to push off the defender, especially when the coverage is really tight. When the officials see your arms extend, they're going to throw the flag. So it's second down and long now after the penalty. He sails it long. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Well, the offense catches a break here. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety, so the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Five wide. He scrambled. Going for it all. There, terrific play. He makes the PAT. Let's throw out to Reese now for a studio update. Over in the Big Ten Championship game. This is a game we've been watching closely today. The Hawkeyes have the perfect connection and a touchdown. Penn State's on top, 21-14. All right, Reese, back to our game. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And this one's a short kick. Mullen takes it to 28. He makes it to the 38-yard line. The Tar Heel staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. And they're fun to be around. I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Slings it. a beauty. This punch goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result 
of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Which is right. He's tackled the 20-yard line. five-yard line. Third down. Fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Brownlee, back to return it. Gets it away. It's low. Not only did that kick prevent a return, but now he's given them almost a full field in front of him. That's a super effort. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he hits him hard at the five-yard line. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. This linebacker's had a couple of years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. It's second down. This is a scary spot deep in their own territory. They're packed in tight on the line. On the ground with the tailback. Tackle made at the 21.
from their own 21 yard line. It's second down. Jordan on the handoff. Oh, drop in for the loss. Special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. Signals for a fair catch. and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line.
One quarter remaining. North Carolina leads it 38-34. Great three quarters of action. Tight ball game. And now it's the fourth quarter. And this will decide it. North Carolina is up four. Play number 10 on the drive. Try a long field goal here. It has the distance. A quick update now. Here's Reese. They're ready to tee it up in the Pac-12 championship game. And for Utah, they get the aerial game cranked up in a passing touchdown. The Utes on top by four. Getting late in the third quarter. People were predicting some upsets this week, but I'd be shocked if that score holds up. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. And he is drilled at the 40-yard line. Second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Tries to get around the corner. He's at midfield. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 43 yard line. starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football and check it down or take off and run with it. We've got second and long. Ball on the 49. Tackle at the 40. The running back takes the pitch on the option, and that'll be a pickup of about nine.
make the stop right around the 10 yard line. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Here's the eighth play of the series. to the tight end, and he's tackled right around the six-yard line. Now will play action good for about four yards. Tight end does a good job here of selling his block and then getting out on his route and making a nice catch for a good game. Third and goal for the lead. Second and ten. Ball on the 25. They line up in the jumbo set. On play action. He'll scramble. He airs it out. He's tackled around the 45 yard line. First down. They come out in a goal line set. He scrambled. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. It's second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line.
Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Now he's scrambling. Slides down. Gutty play here to go for it by the offense. But they show why the coaches have faith in him. That was a real nice run. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Tackle made the 26 yard run. Play number nine of this current drive. Offense lines up in a five-wide set and a defense anticipating pass here. championship game and we've been keeping an eye on this one all day and for Oregon all the ingredients look as if they are starting to fall into place for a potential upset the youth lead it by one early in the fourth quarter well, you can never look ahead a week but that would be a pretty big upset if that score holds everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff nice kick plenty of distance This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on the heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. One thing is that any defensive coordinator in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back and review. Six-yard 
Blackman. Four yards away here on third down. They go to the runner. He's taken down by the They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Nice run up the middle. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 21-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. 
gets six yards on the play. Louisville will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. They'll line it up again on third down. The line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Melton takes it to 28. And the kicker comes in to make the tackle. And what a game it's been for this quarterback. Sir. Well, I think this whole offense is really clicking. And it's allowing him as a quarterback just to settle in and find his rhythm. You go back and you look at some of these plays, and my gosh, this guy's doing it all. He's avoiding the pressure, number one. He's making great decisions. He sees the whole field. And he's just making it look effortless overall. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle around the 48 yard line. their second of the half. Bennett picks up six yards with that grab. Second down and five. Ball on the 42. He's got it out to his tight end. And he hits him hard at the 34-yard line. From the 34 yard line, second down. He might not be able to get the pass off. There's a bullet over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 21. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping over. So the penalty makes it first and 15.
looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. Right down the 17 yard line. We're late in the fourth quarter. Great game. A tied football game. And the question now is, who's going to rise to the occasion? He's scrambling. He's under some heat. He's out to the 30. Out of bounds at the 30. From their own 30-yard line. First down. Now he tries to buy some time. He's going to air it long. Great concentration to haul it in. Touchdown, Tar Heels. The Tar Heels knew they had a start. Quarterback, he came through for him in the clutch. And this defense knows how good this quarterback is. In fact, that's why they decided to try to get as much pressure on him as they could. They weren't able to get home leaving him plenty of time to make the throw and he delivered when he needed to. And he converts the extra point. A quick two-play, 83-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot. They also took advantage of some mistakes there. I wouldn't be surprised if they just screwed it here. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. Not much time to be creative here. They've got to get the ball into the end zone. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. He's on the run. And they got him. Defensive end with this kind of speed is an offensive worst night. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him, or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. He heaves it deep. And our final score, North Carolina, 55, Louisville, 48. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? Well, this one really could have gone either way. Louisville played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way.